This is a sneaky one. Let's take a look. The number of dark spots that appear in the sun, known as sunspots, can vary greatly. For example, there were about 180 sunspots in November 2001. There were only about two sunspots in December 2008. So there's a contrast, right? It can vary greatly. They're setting us up for the contrast. There's 180 and then two. That's a big difference, right? So let's look at the choices, right? In other words, means we're saying the same thing in other words. Treat that very literally. Obviously, 180 and two are not two versions of the same thing. That Those are completely different numbers. So it's not in other words. And therefore is wrong because remember, therefore means so. And it's not like the two sunspots in December 2008 is caused by the 180 in 2001. It doesn't make any sense. Now, if we were kind of just very blindly applying the strategy that I, I talk about in a lot of these videos for the transitions, we might be saying, if two words mean the same thing, then we should get rid of both of them. And at first glance, similarly, and by comparison, both seem to be making comparison. So it seems like they're the same, but this is that rare case where something else is going on. There's a little bit of a difference in these words, even though normally we do think of them as similar. And this is why I don't like eliminating choices like this, even if they at first mean the same thing, until after I've kind of started thinking about the sentences. I really like to see what's going on, because this is definitely trying to make a comparison of sorts. But it's not similarly, because similarly would be saying that these are the same number. We're trying to show there's a difference. So weirdly, by comparison, even though it sounds like it's saying things can be compared, can be similar, it's actually, in this case, emphasizing a contrast. It's saying that they're different. I'm curious, for those of you, you know, who, are, who struggle with these transitions, who maybe don't know English very well, I'm curious if for you, choices B and D seemed the same, or it was easy to tell them apart and know which one it was. Uh, to me, this is an obvious answer. Like, as a native English speaker, I only speak English. I, I wouldn't have really any trouble picking D here. I'm not debating it, but I'm trying to put myself in your shoes. And I wonder if for other people, this is actually a really, really tough choice. So please put in the comments. I'm always curious how other people approach questions. It's hard to put yourself in someone else's shoes sometimes. But uh, yeah, they they seem similar, but they're not. And, and that I think is intentional. I think the SAT is trying to mess with us here and maybe it got some of us.